Hey there, were you born with a silver spoon in your mouth? Were you born to privilege and advantage and comfort? When you went to start your business, did you have all of the resources you could ever have imagined or ever wanted? Did you have unlimited funds and, and money to just do what you want, when you want, where you want with your business as you're establishing it and growing it and supersizing it? Well, I know I sure haven't. In any of the 27 businesses I've been involved in, I didn't have that money, all those unlimited resources up front. I didn't have the advantage of a wealthy birth. And you know what? I don't know hardly anybody that has. That's the vast minor percentage of any of us that want to accomplish anything in our life come from true wealth where we don't have to consider how to get resources or how to be resourceful. And I think that's part of why we see the stories all the time of the rich child that gets into trouble and mischief because they don't know what to do with themselves because they've never had to really work for or strive for anything. They've never had to be resourceful and creative. And I think that's a disadvantage, especially when it comes to launching a business. We all have this belief that, oh, if we just had more money, everything would be easier and everything would just fall into place really, really perfectly. But that's not true. It's when we're having obstacles and overcoming those challenges that we get creative, that we get resourceful, that we actually find solutions to problems and situations and challenges that not only we can use, but that we can use to teach other people and help other people to create what it is that they want in life. So, sorry about the alarm. I'm definitely running late today. So what is it that you think? And do you, do you believe this? Do you believe that only if you had only had something else going on, if only something else were working in your favor, if you'd been born rich, if you'd been born talented. I used to believe, geez, if I'd just been born talented, I would know what my purpose is and I would know what to do with my life. Part of why I've been involved in seven, you know, 27 different industries and businesses, right? Because I couldn't decide. I wasn't born with any one overriding passion or desire or talent or skill. I've had to dabble and play in a lot of different arenas until I found out what I love doing. And that's true for most of us. I mean, the vast majority of people, again, aren't born with a talent silver spoon in their mouth or a an amazing gift or skill. Now, we all have gifts and, and abilities. We just don't necessarily know what they are until we go out in search of them and discover what they are in terms of finding out what we love to do, what makes us feel good, what we like to spend our time doing. You know, the, it's, it's very rare to be born with, you know, being a... a musical or mathematical or artistic prodigy. It's just not very common, right? So the rest of us, we just figure it out as we go. Knowing that we will 100% figure it out as we go. We will, if we're being resourceful, get what we want. Everybody, every single one of us can achieve and do whatever we want. Anything is possible if we just believe that we can and we are willing to put forth the effort and be resourceful to figure out how to make what we want to have happen happen. And that's how you grow and supersize your business. It isn't by having a gazillion venture capital dollars. It's just like having rich parents, right? You still have to answer to your parents. If you have venture capitalists or if you've gotten money from shareholders, you still have to answer to them and to someone else. So I'm a firm believer in figuring out yourself and really be picky and choosy about where you get those resources from. That's just me. Go out, make it an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Take care. Be resourceful. Don't use not having resources as an excuse for anything. Bye.